y'all they promise miracles signs and wonders hey guys welcome to my video my name is cami thank you so much for joining me let's go ahead and get right to the video all right y'all so today we are going to be testing the miracle the magic green stick mask that has been going viral all over on tiktok it's going viral on youtube it's going viral everywhere okay we are going to be testing this out and i'm going to see personally if this is going to do everything that it claims to do in the commercials now if you have never seen the commercials y'all they promise miracles signs and wonders so let's go ahead and play a couple of clips of the commercials so that way you guys know exactly what this thing is supposed to do So I got my green skin mask from amazon.com and this is how it looks here. My green skin mask was made in China, which I mean, a lot of products are, so there's that. So this is what it looks like. This is the infamous green stick mask, y'all. So this is how you take it off. You just turn it and this is how it works right here. So we are going to see if it's going to do everything that the commercial promised that it is supposed to do. So one interesting thing it says right here guys on the side of this green skin mask box is they want you to use a small amount behind the ear or on the inner arm to make sure that you do not have an adverse reaction. So if you are sensitive skinned like me, I have super sensitive skin, please, 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 do a patch test so that way you know that you are not going to have some type of like crazy reaction to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to use the mask on this side of my face and then I'm going to leave this side of my face regular so that way we can kind of like do a comparison to see how well this works. All right guys, so we are going to try it out on this side of my face. So let's go, y'all pray for me. We're gonna see if this works. All right, so. I'm gonna take it like so, cause this is how they use it on the actual commercial, right here, right here, just like that. I'm gonna do the top of my face like this and just see what we are working with. So I'm gonna do like this half of my face right here, okay? So it says that we're supposed to like be feeling like the tingling sensation, which I definitely do. My skin is definitely tingling. She's not burning, but she is tingling. And then in the commercial, you see like the black dots begin to like come out of the skin because that's supposed to be the part where it's like cleaning out your pores directly and like pulling out the dirt literally in the commercials they're literally pulling the dirt out of your skin so i'm gonna give it like a little bit more and then we are going to see if those black dots actually do come out 15 minutes later okay all right so it's been a little bit guys and um yeah you, you tell me, yeah, uh, duh, um, uh, I feel like I put the right amount on and I definitely do not, I don't feel anything. Like I don't, I don't, I don't see anything going on. I don't feel it pulling anything from my pores. So, mm, and people, you know, in their thumbnails, they have like the black spots on there. And in the commercials, it has like the black spots pulling things out of your pores. And I, I don't, I don't see anything. The most that's going on is like my skin is tingling. Yeah, you guys, you you guys tell me, I'm, I'm thinking that this is a lie, that this is a lie. These green stick people have been lying to us and of course, finessing their commercials to get us to buy it. So good job, y'all, you guys got my $7.99. All right, so I have had this on for like a few minutes now, guys, and Ain't no magic happening yet, but let's go ahead. I have my washcloth and I'm going to take this off and then we are going to compare the size to see maybe, I don't know, maybe it did something invisibly and I just, I just don't know about it. So here we go. 
So I'm gonna take it off with the with the washcloth and oh my. Oh. Oh, okay. Um this is not coming off as easily as I thought it would. And this washcloth is completely soaked. It's completely like saturated. And even with a saturated washcloth, it's it's taking, look, it's spreading, it's even spreading places I didn't put it. Whoa. Okay, all right, we're gonna stay calm. Stay calm. All right, we're gonna get it from there. So it looks like you have to press kind of rough on your skin, which I don't like to get this off because if you use like a gentle hand, it's she's not budging, she, she's not coming off. So yeah, you're gonna have to use a little bit of force. All right, so now that I got that part off, we're gonna go to the forehead. And like I said, you have to use some force here when you're taking this off because she does not come off gently like this mask. Woo! Yeah, I hope I, I might get like some irritation just based on how hard I have to push to get this off, but let's do it here. Let's get this, oh, ooh. get that off there. All right, we got this one little patch. Y'all, this, this really, this really does not want to budge. I'm concerned a little, but let's let's wipe it all off and get this as good as possible. Okay, wipe under here once again because I really don't want any of this left on my skin, to be honest with you. All right, so as you guys can see, I have successfully wiped it off with some effort off of my face, off of this side of my face. And what I can say is I still kind of see a bit of white residue. Like, look, even though I wiped, I got a tiny bit on the inside corner of my nose here. Ooh, gotta press hard. And my skin feels bone dry. It doesn't feel moisturized at all. Um, it feels still very sticky. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like my fingers are like sticking to my skin a little bit. Still feels tacky. And wherever I put the green skin and I move my hand over it, it feels like I'm kind of touching rubber, to be honest with you, because of like the film that's left on here. As I look in my mirror, I do see that there is kind of like a white film that's lightly left on my face. So to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to use my cleanser after this to fully remove this on top of using makeup remover because I still feel like even though I wiped it all the way off that it is still here. All right, so now let's do the comparison. So on this side of my face, this is where we use the green mask stick. So you can see that here and then we are gonna compare it to the other side of my face where I didn't use the mask stick. So you let me know guys, comment below and let me know if you honestly see a difference, good or bad, in my skin. I will say from what I'm observing in my mirror, the side where I used this on, the green mask stick, um, it just feels like a little ashy and looks a little dull to me, like it dulled out my face. And the side where I didn't use it looks a lot livelier and a lot more moisturized and not, you know, ashy or dry at all but comment below and let me know so guys when it comes to the miracle the magic green stick mask it is a bust it is a bust this is just hype and lies and inventive editing when it comes to the commercials for this because as you can see it did not work but guys i really hope that you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the notification bell so that way you know whenever i post more videos but until next time guys bye